It'll likely be members of interdisciplinary teams of engineers, policymakers, designers, entrepreneurs, and scientists. Where will they come from? Some have already sprung up on opposite sides of New York City's East River at two of the nation's oldest institutions of higher education. The schools are Polytechnic Institute of NYU, formerly Polytechnic University in downtown Brooklyn, and New York University in Manhattan's Greenwich Village. They joined forces in 2008 to reshape how students learn and researchers collaborate. Within a single discipline, you can know a great deal. There's no question about that. But sometimes breakthroughs come because it's just outside of what you know. And when you put two people together with different insights into a similar problem, you sometimes find amazing solutions that you didn't expect. We wanted to find a way that we could get more people to be able to talk to each other. So we've had some small groups, which sometimes we call speed dating, where people give a five minute presentation of the things that they're working on and the questions that they would like to pursue with someone. A $5 million seed grant NYU created to fund cross-institutional research projects has also formed important matches. Rostislav Levicki, an NYU polychemical and biological engineering professor, is working with NYU chemists. They're developing better models for designing synthetic DNA for biodetectors. Being in an institution where you have a breadth of colleagues in the medical school that actually are experts on in toxicology and small molecules and cancer treating uh, treatment drugs uh, is very valuable. Rusty and Polly in general represent uh, a technological edge that uh, was simply lacking at NYU. Faculty members are collaborating in the classroom as well. NYU Poly's Mel Horwich and NYU Stern's Ari Ginsberg created a clean technology course for executives. But by having NYU, an affiliation with NYU, we were able to expand the scope of the program, what we could offer uh, in other dimensions, even in management. It's not enough just to be a good engineering school. Uh, you, you need to also be on top of the kinds of innovations, the kinds of technologies that are being developed that have the highest impact on society to the extent that you can. The affiliation has increased academic opportunities for undergraduate and graduate students. It's also propelling NYU Poly's culture of invention, innovation, and entrepreneurship, what it calls I squared E. Many of the offerings that we historically have not had at Poly that things like uh, deep liberal arts programs, music, languages, which are all important in interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approach to education, as well as global approach to education, are going to be influenced and enhanced by affiliation with NYU. They have a lot of good classes that are you know, obscure and you probably wouldn't find in most schools. Live experimental interactive television. Toy design. It's introduction to Spanish. That class doesn't exist here. To take any class you want out of the huge catalog of courses in NYU is, is really good for, for us as, as poly students. Now we are in a position to develop some very unique programs that combines the intriguing aspects of both institutions. When it happened, the presidents of NYU and NYU Poly described the affiliation as a perfect marriage. Like many marriages, the partners entered into it convinced that together they could create something bigger than themselves. NYU since uh, 1973 has not had an engineering school that it interacted with. If you look at the uh, challenges of the 21st century, almost every solution's got a scientific and technological engineering base. Our faculty have really uh, noticed the absence of the view that an engineering school and their faculty and students bring to the research table. Poly and NYU teamed up together to be the most powerful science engineering university in this city and one of the most powerful in the nation. That's the future I see and it's already beginning to happen. Our curriculum's changing, we've got innovation wrapped around everything we do so that students get a new taste of what it means to create, invent, change the world. 2021, what's changed? MetroTech's going to be full of young families because all these towers around us are going to be filled so there'll be retail, restaurants, movies. It'll be an exciting place to be. Poly's going to be different. Some of the buildings we're in now are just too old to sustain. They'll be gone. In place of them will be a new engineering and science center. Third, we'll be connected around the world globally. By 2031, 
NYU will have a million square feet of what they're doing here in Brooklyn. So Poly will be bigger, stronger, more exciting. So what Poly's always been great at is taking engineering and helping change the world. And that's what the legacy will be 20 years from now, too. It's clear that there's a great deal of power in the affiliation, and the power of two is very important.